Beck, did you secretly marry in Nevada? No. Wait. You know what? I don't think so. You know, it's hard to do much in Vegas or Nevada or anywhere when you're underage, but I'll be 21 very soon, so no promises on my next trip. Can you do a ranking of the ugliest skyscraper in every state, or every state that has one, and make number one the ugliest? I'm gonna need to hire more riders if I do that, except for the Texas part, because here in Houston, I can just go downtown and see 20 or 30 of the ugliest buildings you could imagine. Relative to the Overton window, uh, yeah, by the way, I accidentally on a TikTok live stream with hundreds of viewers called it the ovarian window the other day, which was quite embarrassing. Uh, would you rather vote for someone who agrees with you entirely on economics, but disagrees entirely on social and cultural, or would you vote for vice versa? We have questions all over the spectrum in this series, in case you haven't gotten that by 90 however many episodes we're at. I always base my opinion on a politician more on social issues just naturally because I think that both parties are very similar on economics, they just love throwing money at everything. But when it comes to voting, I'll vote more on economics if it's a federal office, like a senator or for president, because they can't really change social issues very much. You know, you see all of the battles on like social issues right now are happening in state legislatures and in governor's offices. Just turn on your TV and you hear Ron DeSantis' nasal ass voice saying, um, this is woke beer, guys. We need to sue. What are your views on the results of the Greek elections? I'm gonna have to look them up first. Although the only thing I know off the top of my head is that the prime minister had to resign before the elections and then was just re-elected anyways, which that can't be very efficient. Oh, there were two elections in the span of five weeks. What are y'all doing? Feels like you guys have more elections than the US and that's saying a lot because they don't really coordinate them here. So you'll have like a local election like two weeks after a national election and then you'll have some stupid referendum like two weeks after that. Oh, okay, so basically they didn't form a coalition government after the May election. That never happens in parliamentary countries. That's shocking, really. I do feel like there was probably a better solution than calling another national election. So it looks like Teriyaki Mitsotakis won the election, and that's awesome. He got to make the quickest political comeback in history after being out of office for, what, 33 days? I don't know what new democracy is. That's the party that won. Let's see. They are a liberal conservative party. That's very helpful. <laughs> what is your favorite and least favorite flag as of filming this video? That's a very clever way to ask that question because I do change my opinion frequently. But I think I'm gonna have to go with the Solomon Islands as my favorite flag. And my least favorite flag is Switzerland. Just solely because of the dimensions. They're so aesthetically displeasing. Thoughts on the Dutch government crisis. That's another thing I'm gonna have to look up. You know what, for this one, I'm just gonna look up what you need to know about the Dutch government crisis because I guarantee you there's a mainstream media article with that exact title. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Okay, the coalition parties couldn't come to an agreement on the country's migration policy. What? A coalition didn't work? That never happens. The prime minister offering the resignation of his government to the king. That's kind of a funny system, don't you think? You know, if I was a king, especially on a Friday night, I don't know, I'd probably just be like swimming and like drinking and, you know, just like chilling. And then the prime minister walks and he's like, yo, I'm sorry, man, I gotta resign. And the king's like, yeah, bro, whatever. Like, you know, you do this every week because your coalition collapses. So they were unable to persuade more centrist members of the governing coalition to back more restrictive migration policies. You know what they need in the Netherlands? They need some orange billionaire to go up there and say, let's just build a wall. It's a lot more feasible in a small country like the Netherlands. Yeah, literally this article acknowledges what I've been joking about, which is that this is a frequent occurrence in European politics. I don't keep up with European politics as much, but I feel like I've read at least 10 articles in the last two years about how insert EU countries government collapsed because of migration policies and you know, the coalitions couldn't agree. Have you ever read any alternate histories? Yeah, I was reading this one book about if Hillary Clinton won the 2016 election. It was too jarring. I had to stop halfway through. How's your summer so far? Well, it's it's going pretty good. It's almost over, but I have to say it was actually a good time. And I actually did like most of the things I said I was gonna do. I just realized back in like April, like, oh my God, I have two summers left. And then, you know, after 2025, when I graduate college, I have to like be an adult. There is no summer. That's already true to an extent. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna work, but I wanna find something that I don't have to do the entire summer so I can travel. So I did an internship and I went to Colorado and I did a road trip around the entire Northeast. Most random and interesting things to happened to you. I have a laundry list of coincidences that have happened to me. So I have a few just from the last year alone. I was hanging out with this girl last semester and after a few times I mentioned my TikTok and she's like, oh yeah, I already follow you, I think. And that wasn't all too surprising because I you know I was at the time close to 100,000 followers. But when she pulled it up, it was my personal account. Like the one I don't use anymore since I
since I started my new one for like politics and stuff. And it had only like 700 followers. Because there's so few, I went through like my new followers in chronological order. And she had followed me like a year before. She had never even heard of Beckography. Another one was in April. So I had a 9.45 to 11 a.m. class. That might as well have been 7 a.m. for me because I'm the farthest thing from a morning person. So normally after that class, I would go back to my dorm and fall right back asleep. But on this particular day, I ran into my ex-girlfriend and we went to get coffee. And then on the walk back to my dorm, I ran into my freshman year of high school history teacher from my school in Houston. The crazy thing is, he was only there for one day. If I had not ran into my ex-girlfriend, I would never have known. In middle school, I did these stupid drawings in this marble composition book. I had hired one of my friends to edit the second episode of Ask Beck way back in September 2016. But he was pretty slow, and so I did a drawing joking about how he was saying, oh yeah, I'll have your video done by Friday, December 30th, 2022. I just made up a random date. So fast forward to that date, we hadn't talked in about two years. And guess who texted me? Not only the fact that he texted me, but while I was making a drawing of the week about it. Thoughts on threads. What a bomb. It sucks that it's not taking off more. Like Elon Musk is doing his absolute best to just ruin everything people love about Twitter. Or X, haha, ha, yes, comment down below. Oh, I missed the rebrand, it's really funny. We need to make Twitter an X social media platform. And I, I really like the layout of threads. Uh, there's some things that could be improved. But really, it's just Twitter without like the really weird guy running it. I mean, it is still a, a different weird guy running it, but you get my point. I would rather have the guy who's like pretending to be human running my social media platform rather than the guy who is like 55 with the humor of a 16 year old. Shouldn't it be X inspection? Also, isn't it now X inspection? You see what I mean? I'm never changing the title. I'm not doing it. I tried to make a logo the other day, but because it's black, it doesn't really fit on any of the backgrounds that I use. Also, that name sounds terrible, so I'm not using it. And newsflash, nobody is calling it X. Literally nobody. Thoughts on Taylor Swift. All right, let's go. We're going for this one. I don't get it. I really don't understand. Taylor Swift is extremely lucky that she has interesting breakups to write music about. If Taylor Swift had married her first boyfriend, she would be working at some upscale clothing store that rich white women who drive G-Wagons shop at. And now she has this chokehold on every girl in America. If I had a dollar for every single time I was on Hinge and I saw the prompt, it will get along if you like Taylor Swift or a non-negotiable for me is liking Taylor Swift, I would delete my LinkedIn because I would never have to work again. Also, and by the way, I'm not one to talk about this because if you asked me to, I could spend three minutes teaching you about the 2014 Alaska gubernatorial election off the top of my head. But the amount of lore that you have to know to even like understand the music is insane. The only Taylor Swift song in any of my playlists is You Need to Calm Down. I mean, sometimes you just need to take several seats and try to restore the peace and control your urges to scream about all the people you hate. Have you ever met or dealt with a sovereign citizen? Okay, I'm gonna have to look this one up too. You guys are throwing some curveballs at me today. They are a group of anti-government activists and tax protesters. They adhere to pseudo-legal concepts. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that means. That's not helpful. Oh, so basically they believe they're not subject to government statutes or proceedings unless they consent to them. I find it hard to believe that these people are real. I would make a joke about how they probably are all concentrated in like northern Idaho or something, but I've been there and I didn't meet any either. Where are these people? Like seriously. I was like reading about January 6th the other day and like under the list of like groups that participated and there were just so many different like far-right groups. I've never heard of any of them. I feel like there's about three to 5,000 people that are literally just in all of these groups. Like they're all in like 12 different groups because there's no way there's like thousands and thousands of different members for each of these. Cause if that's true, it's probably really easy. Shit, I went to the wrong floor of the Denver airport one time. And I, I think I'm gonna start a conspiracy group about that. Okay, so if in 2024 it's Trump versus Pence, you're voting Pence. I mean, yeah. Again, like on social issues, yeah, I prefer Trump, which is not saying much. It's funny to watch DeSantis and Trump just try to like be each other because I was watching the David Pakman show and they played part of a Trump rally that happened in New Hampshire the other day. And Trump was, he literally sounded like DeSantis talking about like the transgender ideology and stuff. And Pence is like way out of line with most Americans on most social issues, but he didn't try to overturn a legitimate election. So I respect him for that. And finally, the most important question, did you contact Kylie from Disney World? Was it her? Okay, so back in June, I saw a TikTok of this blonde girl who said she was named Kylie and mentioned being from Illinois. 14 years ago, I met a girl named Kylie at Disney World. I was very young but it is one of my earliest memories. I made a whole video about this and it's gonna pop up on the screen right now. But basically my parents were making me and my brother ride in a stroller, which she probably got the ick from that to be fair. But she like left with her family right when the bus got back to our hotel. And I haven't been able to find her since. All, all I remember was her being from one of the Midwestern states that starts with an I. Max helped me find her Instagram and did it in three minutes somehow. Will I be reaching out to her? Absolutely not. <laughs> Mostly because despite my delusional jokes, there's a 99 to 105 
95% chance that it's not her. I'm eventually gonna bring it to TikTok and see if they can help me. But in the meantime, I could really use your investigative skills. You know, we, we could bring you onto the Beckography team because there's a lot more things I wanna look into. Like, I still wanna know where my Stimmy is. I don't, no one ever.